In the final part, we focus on Oxford's Lee Richardson, the world number 113, who's serious about his snooker, but doesn't take it too seriously. Tied against a bolt cush, but not for long. I rolled the long red in and I'm gone. My nickname is the shirt. Next came the black and the white smack in the back of the pack. The crowd started to clap. <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah, the snooker is my first love because I think it, 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 it's, it sets the mood, but music's in everybody's life, so um, it's a joint with, with the snooker. You guessed it, another century. I want the big boy, you want Hendry. I go to karaoke if I'm, if I'm around. At the time, if I'm not at tournaments, I, I'm karaoke like four or five times a week. So Doyle, bring him to me. You want to let him see the L double E, the shirt's back and free with his own style, originality. I'm out pubbing, clubbing, whatever, anywhere where I can have a good time, listen to music, meet a few birds. You wear black and white, but well, that don't bother me, because I'm a colourful, lovable snooker player, or an unmissable, kissable lady slayer. <laughs> That's about it. I don't want to do any more. <laughs> I'm not used to doing this. I'm normally steaming when I do it. Lee Richardson is not what you'd call your average snooker player. He's already released two rap records and he's a throwback to former times when players weren't afraid to have a drink during a game. He likes to relax when he plays and he enjoyed Malvern precisely because there isn't the big money pressure involved as there is on the regular circuit. I, I play for a grand every match. So it's th that's that's more pressure when you're not guaranteed anything. I've had to pay two grand entrance fees, so that's where the the, the pressure comes in when you're used to just having money anyway. If you lose, so now that's that's more of a more of a pressure when you're thinking, God, how am I going to pay for my next beer? <laughs> you know. So th that's uh, that's the pressure. This is fun, even though it is a good tournament. I love this tournament. Perhaps it was the laid-back approach at the qualifiers that prevented him from progressing too far. As to whether we'll see him in the TV stages of a major tournament, that remains doubtful, given his reluctance to match the serious practice of his fellow pros. Don't get me wrong, I want to win more, as much as the next guy, but uh, I'm not prepared to spend 10 hours in a snooker club every day. So, so, and I'm prepared to spend 10 hours in the pub. So uh, that's the difference. Lee Richardson, he is different. A big break and big shock. Former world champion Stephen Hendry made an impressive first appearance. He whitewashed Lee Richardson. No songs today from the karaoke kid. Welcome back to the Plymouth Pavilions. Jimmy White and Dominic Dell will be back at the main table very shortly indeed. I said a minute or two ago that we may be about to lose our shirt, Lee the shirt Richardson, but I was a shade premature. He's playing against Anthony Hamilton. Willie Thorne is taking on Showcat Alley on table two. Let's hear about those matches now by rejoining our commentators. Mike and Phil. So our tables, I can tell you that Anthony Hamilton leads Lee Richardson by four frames to two. It was 4-1. Richardson trying to mount yeah, something of the score back. on table three. Anthony Hamilton, who's fighting to get into the top 16 next season for the first time. He's qualified for the World Championship later on, a few weeks' time. Well, he leads Lee Richardson by four frames to two. There's Lee the shirt. Don't adjust the colour button on your television set. It's OK. How about that for a head as well, Mike? Is 4 1 down now, 4 2. You never know, could get back into things. Lots at stake, of course, in the 1997 British Open, the ninth of ten world ranking events that make up the 1996 97 season. The highest televised break, that's £5,000, currently held by Stephen Hendry with a 138 total clearance this afternoon against Carl Broughton. He won that match, of course, 5 3. 16, they get 4,550, quarter-finalist 9,100, semi-finalist 16,000, the runner-up 32,000, and of course the jackpot at the end of the rainbow. The winner here on Saturday will receive £60,000. That went to Nigel Bond last year, remember, with that nail-biting 9-8 win against John Higgins on the final black. The total prize fund, 330000 and a lot of people would love to see Jimmy White pocket that winner's check. Just had a result. Nottingham's Anthony Hamilton, one of those players bidding for a place in the top 16 next season. He's recorded a solid 5-2 victory over Lee the Shirt Richardson. 77 break from Hamilton in the final frame. 
Lee still smiling. It takes a lot to make him miserable. Hamilton, though, I'm sure, very relieved.